and the song of the bride. Jeremiah chapter number 7 and verse 34. I never slept the whole night wrestling with this word. And I knew that this is the word for somebody in this season. I can even tell you when I was in Kisi on Saturday, Friday to waking up towards Saturday, the Lord just opened my eyes and gave me the whole prophetic direction for 2025. I'm just waiting for January so that we can announce it. But he that knows everything, I've written here more than 10 things that ought to happen in that season. But one that I have to tell you in advance is that the year 2025 will be a very active year spiritually. And the one that will be consistent will rule the year. There are many demonic activities scheduled, but there are also many divine activities scheduled. So the one that will rule, the, the, the ones that will be active in the spirit are the ones that are going to dominate. That can be an year where you'll begin to see very major surgings and powerful movements of God. And that can also be an year of serious motions greater than what you saw in the Gen Z. So we, it is an year to labor in the spirit. Either of the two can happen. It depends. The one that will be loudest in the spirit is the one that will be hard. The realm of the spirit is we speak to see. But in the realm of the flesh, we see to speak. So we have to understand in the natural, the laws of physics dictate that once we see, we speak. But the laws of the spirit dictate that we speak to see them. That's why we stand in the place of prayer. So that we can make declarations of what we want to see. Is someone getting me? Here we don't see to speak, we speak to see. Faith is the evidence of those things that are not. But we have to declare them until they manifest. Jeremiah chapter number 7 and verse 34. Maybe someone can come and touch this screen. It's flickering, but it will be okay. Jeremiah chapter number 7 and verse 34. This is a prophecy of judgment. Then I will cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of Mar and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. Maybe give me in NIV. Give me this in NIV. We're going to read in different versions. I will bring an end to the sounds of joy and gladness and to the voices of bride and bridegroom in the towns of Judah. And the street of Judah, for the land will become desolate. Give me that in message Bible. Someone come and touch this screen for me. So that it stays. And I'll empty both smiles and laughter from the villages of Judah. And the streets of Jerusalem. No wedding songs. No holiday songs. Sounds. Dead silence. This was a pronunciation of judgment over the children of Israel because they had departed from the ways of the Lord. And one of the things that happens is that when there is no songs of wedding or there is no sound of wedding, it means that there is gloom, doom, and desolation. I studied and I discovered that marriages and weddings symbolize three things in the spiritual realm. Marriages and weddings symbolize three things in the spiritual realm. Number one, when people can marry and give in marriage, it is a symbol of peace. It is a symbol of peace. It's a symbol of peace. In the natural, I remember... There was a time a friend of mine called me and told me we have postponed the wedding because we have to lay my father to rest. Meaning that the matter of death disrupted the program of their wedding. If something happens in your family today and there is a wedding and there is a burial, 
people will pay attention to the burial and they will not pay attention to the wedding. Is that true? Meaning that anytime we are seeing no wedding songs or we are not seeing weddings happening, it means that there is no peace. It takes peace for there to be weddings. And we begin to see this matter in the book of Matthew chapter number 24 and verse 38. Matthew 24 and verse 38. We begin to see this matter. Matthew 24 and verse 38. One of the prophecies of the end times is, before the great flood, everyone was carrying on as usual, having a good time right up. The days of Noah boarded the ark. The, before the days, that's what the Bible says. People were marrying and getting married. If you look for another version, it will tell you that before that time, people were marrying and getting married. The Bible even says before Jesus comes, people will be marrying and getting married because it automatically tells you here, yeah, for as the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. There was peace. So when we are looking at the concept of marrying and the songs of marriage, it automatically means when they are taken out, there is no peace. There is no peace. And I can tell you the truth, there are many people who are living, but they don't know peace. Many things have disrupted your peace. Many things have disprogrammed your peace. Peace is not a feeling. Peace is an environment. Peace does not take away sometimes the problem, but the environment gives you the capacity to go through the problems. The name Shalom in the Hebrew word has more than seven meanings. The name Shalom. It has more than seven meanings. And it has the word establishment. It has the word nothing missing, nothing lacking. I don't have all the seven. But I know the name Shalom has more than seven meanings. And the name Shalom is not just a word. That name, that's why they used to greet each other and say Shalom. When, when a man declared Shalom, he was releasing an atmosphere. When the, the Bible says, when, when the boat was almost capsizing, when the boat was almost capsizing because of the winds and the storms, the Bible says Jesus rose up and says, for the winds, he rebuked them. But for the storms, he says, be still, peace, shalom. He released that atmosphere in that environment. Today, I want to declare in the name of Jesus, the peace of the living God, the peace that surpasses human understanding shall come upon your life. The waters may be heavy, but we want to declare the shalom of Zion. The shalom of Zion. The Bible says when he was sending the 72, he told them, any city where they receive you with a cup of water, declare shalom. And any town where they reject you, release the dust of your feet. That's a curse. And I remember there was a town called Jinja in Uganda. I was being told by one of the apostles. In that town called Jinja, Reynard Bonke had been invited there to go and do a crusade. And all the meetings had happened. The preparation had happened. And on the day to do the meeting, the chiefs and the residents gathered. And they said, listen, we cannot have this meeting here. And the man of God was kicked out. And he did the gesture of the Bible. He just dusted his feet. That was the most industrious town up to date. It has never resurrected. Because a man that could bring peace huh, was rejected. The Bible says when you receive a man only with a cup of water, all he needs to do is say shalom. That's an environment that can provoke many possibilities in your life. So when there are no songs of marriage, and songs of the bridegroom, it automatically tells you there is no peace. Number two, the second thing, of marriage is a symbol of establishment. Is a symbol of establishment. Number two. Marriage number one is a symbol of peace. Number two. Marriage is a symbol of establishment. When there are songs and sounds. Of the bridegroom. Or the sounds of marrying. Or the songs of marriage. 
it automatically means people are entering a place of establishment. A place of settlement. Because we have realized when there is no peace, there is chaos. When there is chaos, people cannot build. People cannot set up permanent things. Uh, uh, one day we visited southern Sudan. We wanted to explore the area for business. And, and, and we realized that the, the nation is very young. They have one president and five vice presidents. For them to contain the political environment, they had to give, they had to make vice presidents from every community so that there is no war. We entered in that territory, we were told everyone has a gun. Even the, gun, the guy who was carrying us, we asked him, do you have one? He said, I don't like talking about those stories. Because they are armed. Anytime war erupts, it means that everyone is ready for war. And the people who have invested there, they all know that they are risking. Because there is absence of war, but still there is no 100% reconciliation. And in such a place, you don't build permanent things. They, that is not a place to go and say, now I'll be established here. That's a place where you try and you're perpetually in your rubbers. So that if anything happens, you flee. So when we begin to see there are no songs of the bridegroom, it tells us people cannot be established. People cannot enter establishment. They are perpetually with a refugee mentality. Moving from one place to another. These are the three things we are going to pray. Some of you, there must be establishment in your life. You have been on that path for long. The cycle must begin to change. The sound of the bridegroom must come back in our territory. And number, number three, number three, the Bible says, anytime the marriage songs are back, it is a language of advancement. It's 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 a language of advancement. So here the Lord is prophesying and saying, there will be no songs of the wedding. But in Jeremiah chapter number 33 and verse 11. Jeremiah 33 and verse 11. Look at this. Jeremiah 33 and verse 11. Jeremiah 33 and verse 11. Everybody read. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of those who will say, praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercies endure us forever. You remember where we began? And of those who will bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. For I will cause the captives of the land to return as the first says the Lord. So what happens? There will be restoration of the voice of the bridegroom. Today we came to declare the Lord is restoring the voice of the bridegroom. The sound of the bridegroom is being restored. That is our first prayer. Can you stand up on your feet so that we can make prayer number one. Worshippers, now you have to stand with me. Because we are going to make a point and make a prayer. Please tell your neighbor, neighbor, you cannot get tired of prayer. The Bible says do not faint. We came to program our lives. I don't know where you are in life, but I believe out of this meeting, somebody must live out of this house with a solution. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hand and say in the name of Jesus. I declare over my life, peace over every area of my life. I declare peace over my life. Depression has no power. I am not a captive of anxiety. I am not a captivity of depressive spirit. From this hour I announce. Everything that is rapid. Let there be stillness in my life. Let there be stillness in my life. I declare shalom. From the head to the sole of my feet. I declare the peace of God. I declare the joy of the father. I declare establishment. I declare advancement in the mighty name of Jesus. Where the Lord has planted me, I will be established. I will grow there. I will grow there. I will expand there. Every battle surrounding my establishment, I declare the battle ends now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, according to Jeremiah 33 and verse 11, 
I announce there is a change of sound. There is a change of sound over my life, over my circumstance. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the next few minutes, make that prayer personal. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the battles in your life, but we are standing with the scriptures in the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 33 and verse 11. We are declaring the sound of the bridegroom, the sound of the bridegroom, the sound of the bridegroom, where mourning dominated, where peace was not available. Let the sound of the bridegroom become a prophet over your life. Begin to prophesy and testify. Speak to the darkness that has been trying to show up. Somebody open up your mouth. Declare. Announce joy. Announce peace. The month of December is not a month of sorrow. It's not a month of sorrow. This shall be a month of joy. The sounds of joy. The sound of the bridegroom is coming back in my life. Rapalia Zabadea. There is restoration. There is establishment. There is advancement. We are moving forward. We are advancing. We are breaking barriers. We are there was mourning, may the Lord wipe every tear. Where there was discomfort, may the Lord intervene. Where the waters were rapid, we declare shalom. We declare shalom. We declare shalom. We declare shalom in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord establish us. Lord establish us. Lord establish us. As a church, begin to establish us. Any power of opposition, every hindrance, whatever limits our advancement, whatever limits us from going forward, today in the name name of Jesus. Let the forces be lifted. Somebody prophesy over the month of December. This is the month of joy. It is the month of peace. We cancel barriers. We cancel eventualities. We cancel every assignment of the devil. We cancel every attack of hell. We are announcing now joy shall be our portion in our families. Even as we gather as a community we declare peace. 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 Let it prevail of our lives the sound of the bridegroom the sound of the bridegroom the sound of joy the sound of joy Psalm 78 and verse 60, 63 Psalm 78 and verse 63 still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. When the oceans rise. When the oceans rise and the lift up your hand in the name of Jesus I declare anything that has stolen your peace anything that has stolen your joy in this service may the Lord take it out we stand with Jeremiah 33 and verse 11 and we declare over your life there is a change of sound there is a change of sound there is a change of sound in Jesus name you can sit down for prayer point number two Shippers, you have to stay with me. Yes. Psalms 137 from verse 1 to 4. Psalms 137 from verse 1 to 4. The first thing is that judgments will rob you the song of joy. The second thing is that captivity will rob you the song of joy. Are we together? Are we together? That's why we began by pleading what? Mercy. Are we together? Because the judgments of God will rob the songs of joy. The Bible says, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yeah, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willow 
in the midst of it. For there are those who carried us away captive, asked us a song. And those who plundered us requested a meal, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? Give me that in Message Bible. How can we sing? Look at, begin from verse 1. Alongside Babylon rivers, we sat on the banks. We cried and cried, remembering the good old days in Zion. Alongside the quaking aspens, we stacked our unplayed harps. That's where our captors demanded songs, sarcastic and mocking. Sing us a happy Zion song. And they responded. Oh, how could we ever sing God's songs in these wastelands? Anytime a man is in captivity, he loses a sound. Anytime a man is in captivity, he loses a sound. These were the Babylonians mocking the children of Israel when they were in Babylon. And they will come, they were no longer in the temple. And they, when they left, they left with their harps and their singing instruments. But they could not sing. They hanged them. And they sat by the rivers of Babylon. There were different rivers in that captivity. They sat by the rivers. Remembering the good old days when their freedom was guaranteed. Remembering the good old days when they will walk around the streets of Jerusalem and they will enter the temple of the God, their God and worship their God. But captivity had robbed them that opportunity. And they sat in this area mocked by their oppressors. And they could not release a sound. Kapala Sodia. They could not sing because how can I sing songs of God in wastelands? How can we sing songs of joy in captivity? Today we came to break every demonic captivity. <sighs> we are here to deal with every demonic siege and captivity. We are here to deal with them. Wherever captivity that the enemy has put you, when a man is in captivity, there are songs he cannot sing. Songs are very prophetic. Because biblically songs were sung in specific seasons. People will sing. There were, even in our culture, we have the songs of mourning, songs of wedding, and all that. But let me tell you the truth. There is no song in captivity. Because in captivity, you lose your rights. That's the first thing you lose. The second thing, you lose your freedom. That means you cannot run life the way you used to run it before. There is no song that a man can sing in jail. But when you are outside, you can have songs of burial, songs of wedding, songs of childbearing. Because as we are moving in life, it means that there are different events and there are different songs. But the moment we are confined in captivity, it means even our motion and advancement is affected. So there is no song to sing in captivity. Someone's captivity must end today. We came for serious business. Hallelujah. It takes a day for a woman with the issue of blood to know this is the day for my healing. It takes a day like today for someone to have entered in that door feeling suicidal, feeling like nothing is working in life, but to walk out of that door looking at the world and saying, here I am again. I am ready to try this thing again. It takes a man that came in this service just for the sake of coming. It's on a Sunday and they don't want to stay in the house. But by this word, because what the Lord gives a man in captivity, number one, is a word. In every wilderness, before deliverance, what comes is a word. Because what will deliver you from the wilderness is the word that is upon your life. The Bible says, I follow my word to perform it. Before the children of Israel entered into captivity, the Lord had already given a word. He said, and I shall deliver Israel with my own hand. 
That is what made sure that their captivity was not permanent. Before even Israel entered this captivity, the Lord had said it shall last for 70 years. That is when Daniel, by the reading of books, when he discovered our captivity is over, he entered into prayer and said, Lord, now it's time for us to leave Babylon. Today, somebody's calendar has come to an end. If the Babylonian time is over, you have been hanging your harps for so long. It is time to unhang the harps and sing the songs of the Lord. Oh my God, our voice will not be muzzled. It's time to take the harp. It's time to take the drums and begin to sing the songs of the Lord. I declare in this atmosphere, every demonic activity, wherever you are, Kapaladosia, wherever the devil has kept you, wherever the devil has kept you, today in the name of Jesus, I break that captivity. I break that captivity. I break that captivity. I break the siege of the enemy. It is time to be let loose. It's time to let loose. It's time to sing the songs of the Lord in freedom. How can we sing the, God, the, the songs of our Lord in captivity? How can we sing in a wasted land? How can we sing? We are declaring the captivity is over. The captivity is over. Wherever the devil has taken you, tonight by the authority of the name of Yeshua, I break every yoke. I break every jail. I break every door. I break every captivity. Be loose. Be loose. Let my people go. Let my people go. Let the hand of the enemy be lifted over your life. I break you. I release you from the captivity of infirmity. I release you today. Every manner of disease that has made you a captive, confined to drugs, receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. From the head to the sole of thy feet, receive new organs. Receive new organs. Let the pain leave your body. I say let the pain leave your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every economic captivity, we break it right now. Cycles of death must come to an end. You are not a beggar but a lender. You are not a beggar but a lender. We declare from the quarters of eternity, may the Lord open the heavens for you. May the Lord open the heavens for you. May you know the pathway of the supernatural. Let the yoke of lack, let the yoke of lack, that yoke must be broken. Let the yoke of poverty, let it be broken over your life. How can we sing the lost song in this wasted land? How can we sing the lost song in this wasted land? But we want to declare we are going to sing the lost song because our captivity is over. I say we are going to sing the Lord's song because our captivity is over. There are things that must give way. On this first day of the month of December, let it be marked in your calendar and in your program of eternity that something give way. Something gave way. We took our hubs again. We drove and went back to rebuild and repair the altars of Yahweh to offer a holy sacrifice unto him again. I prophesy over somebody according to this scripture that indeed the harps are being picked up again. Where the Lord was stealing, where the devil was stealing your voice. To make sure you never lift your voice again. Today in the name of Jesus, we are going to lift our voices and praise our God. Merodia Barados. Ekamania Baradea. Repleketosia. Parusa Tela. Ebalia Zaparadia. Pekote Libada. I cannot die here. Shemenia Bara. Zato Prekota. Ibra Catalabosa. Mante Librataya. I shall sing the Lord's song. I shall sing the Lord's song. I shall sing. When the enemy thought it was finished. I shall sing. In this atmosphere, there are healings that are being deployed. People are getting out of the captivity.
productivity of diseases depression must live your life we are not burying you this year you shall see 2025 you will see the Lord you will declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living we are now right now let the doors of your feet open. let them open up we declare Ephrata 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 open up let my jail open up let my doors open up Ephrata hallelujah when the enemy thought he was winning yeah. when the enemy thought he was winning when the enemy thought he was winning my jesus came and said it is finished my jesus came and said it is finished when the enemy when the enemy Yeshua. The Bible says when the blood was applied on the doorpost of the Israelites, the Bible says the angel of death could not enter in any of the houses. By that blood, a 430 year captivity was broken in one day. By the blood of the resurrected Messiah, I declare on this altar, every captivity that has been over your life, we break it now. Economic captivity, infirmity captivity, chaos in your marriage, chaos in your family, every captivity, captivities of the mind, captivities of the may, of the body, in the name of Jesus, we break them now. I sense a lot of healing anointing. I sense a lot of healing. A lot of healing. Healings of the heart and the body. Physical healings. Anyone that came sick in this house, in this environment, no infirmity, no virus, no fungi, no bacteria can survive. We command the disease to die. 
Kayaba Sotalia Berunda Paradia Zapaladia Pekodia Paratos I Paria Kada Shameno Pero Sadabaha Repakuda Badea Rika Dabratoria Embeluza Bada The Lord is saying I have broken the walls I have taken away the barrier Tell my sons to advance Imano Sabila Arua Zapalade Repelia Sataya Ikratosia Milo Poria Bada Shate Pretos I Paria I am the God of war. I am the God of battle. I am the one that fights your battle. I am responsible for your life. Ah. The sound. We will sing the songs of our Lord. Not in captivity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My goodness. There is another sound men release. It's called the sound of faith and sound of trust. This is a strange sound. This is a strange sound. Isaiah 54 and verse 1. Sing, O barren woman. There are times we sing our barrenness away. Isaiah 54. It doesn't make sense. Sing barren woman who has never had a baby this is a paradox I thought barrenness means I cannot have a baby but the Lord is saying sing oh barren woman Hi. these are called songs of faith and trust see how it says fill the air with song you who never experienced childbirth you are ending up with far more children than all those childbearing women. God says so. Look at two. Clear lots of ground for your tent. Make your tents large. Spread out. Think big. We can dwell there. Pastor, but I don't have capital. Seeing all barren woman. Ah. Think or oh, turn to that neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor, kichwa siya kuva kufia. Mwambia niya kufikiria. Ah, if that neighbor felt like a kamo memtukana, look for a neighbor who is in joy. Mwambia pikichwa siya kusuka mosodo. Na kweka milaso. Na kunyoa design. Mwambia yo kichwa niya kufikiria. Tell that neighbor, think big. Look at four. Look at three. Look at three. You are going to lead, need lots of elbow room for your growing family. You are going to take over whole nations. You are going to resettle abandoned cities. Hi. Look at four. Why? Do not be afraid. You are not going to be embarrassed. Do not hold back. You are not going to come up short. You will forget all about the humiliation of your youth and the indignities of being a widow will fade from memory. There is a reason why that must happen. Look at five. There is a reason. For your maker is my husband. His name is God of the angels, armies. You are redeemer is the holy of Israel known as God for the whole earth. My goodness, I know why I cannot be intimidated with my barrenness. Because my maker has power over my barrenness. My maker has a seed to restore my barrenness. I can be barren, but I know there is a God that can take away my barrenness. Listen, the time you know you are God, the Bible says, them that know they are God, they shall do exploits. When there is revelation of your maker, barrenness is not an excuse. When there is revelation of your maker, barrenness is not an excuse. Because I know whom I have believed in. I refuse to sing songs of complaint. I refuse to sing songs of sorrow. I shall sing a new song. The Bible says, sing, O oh barren woman. Ah, my goodness. I don't know who is your God. 
Pastor T will never help you. I still need God as my maker. My maker must be my groom. I have many needs in my life. I have many battles in my life. How I wish that my maker could be your maker. Because he's not a man to lie. He can never disappoint anyone. He has never lost any battle. His word is yes and amen. He has never forsaken his word. The Bible says every good word that the Lord spoke upon Israel came to pass. That is to tell me he may have spoken many words but he was sensitive to make Make sure the good words Joshua 22 and 45 I think every good word that the Lord spoke over Israel came to pass came to pass that tells me God is not a motivational speaker whatever he utters over my life it must come to pass please turn to your neighbor just ask him who's your maker tell your neighbor the next prayer is connected to the revelation of your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job came to a place and said, I have heard of your works, but now I have seen and I have known who you are. Because, and I now I can declare, my Redeemer liveth even before Calvary. You have heard of him. It's time now to announce. I am not moving from a place of hearing sermons. I'm in the place of seeing whom I have believed in. My Redeemer. My Redeemer. My Redeemer. My Redeemer. My Redeemer. Listen, what, what we, we, the Bible says sing. We are not praying. We are singing. Because the Bible says sing, parent woman. Sing, parent woman. We are singing into our miracles. We are singing into our delivery. We are singing into what the Lord has purpose to do with our lives. Oh, please turn to three, four, five people. Tell them, neighbor, we are singing into our victory, into our miracle. The Bible says sing, parent woman. Ah 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 please angalia jirani umwambie wewe na limuru munakaa the same bariti bariti mwambie apana there is a god in heaven mwambie we came to change limuru we came to bring the fire of god we came to take away the dullness because our redeemer liveth hallelujah say i know i know rescued my soul His blood His blood has covered my shame I believe oh, I believe oh, My shame My shame is taken away And my pain is healed My pain is healed in His name I believe yeah, I believe So I raise the banner we say I raise a banner Cause my Lord has said My Redeemer My Redeemer My Redeemer My Redeemer My Redeemer I believe. Do you believe it? I 
of Jesus I declare may that be your portion in this season in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the final scripture it messed me up because we began to see that man can lose sound because of judgment and he loses the sound of joy the sound of peace, establishment and advancement. But mercy is a rescuer. Man can lose sound because of captivity. Hallelujah. Man can lose sound because of barrenness. Man can lose sound because of barrenness. In Isaiah chapter number 40 from verse 1 to 4. I discover there is another dimension. Where now, even if you don't want, the Lord will force it on you. Give me in... Yes, comfort ye, comfort my people, says your God. Look at, speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that how her. I wish we could all read. Speak comfort to Anthony. Put your name there. Speak comfort to Pastor T. Anthony and cry out to him. That his warfare is ended. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare the wars have come to an end. You cannot live in the battlefield. It is time for those that were pursuing you to leave you. It is time for the arrows to be broken. And the bows to be broken. The chariots of the wheels of your enemies. It is time for them to be slowed down. In the name of Jesus. It is time to get out of the valley. Oh my God. That his iniquity is pardoned. For he has received from the Lord. Hand double for his sins. Look at three. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for God. Look at four. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight. And the rough places done what? And the rough places done what? Continue. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. A 
And all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has done what? Has spoken. Allow me to explain. There is another reality in this kingdom where the Bible says, And the Lord shall put a new song into your mouth. Listen. There is a time when he commands you to sing. But there is a time he forces a song. A new song. Yes. He has put a new song in my mouth. This is radical. Because <laughs> he is not requesting. He's opening your mouth and putting it. Because a new season must come. Now you see why I wanted us to begin with mercy. Because the things of God carry the protocol of holiness. Are you getting it? That's why sometimes we make declaration. It is the will of God for us to receive a new song. But we must be aligned with him. Are we together? Anytime there was a new song. It meant the children of Israel were stepping into a new season. So they had to sing that song. Because they were entering a season they had not entered before. So they needed something new to announce that new. I want to declare on the first day of December. May the Lord put a new song in your mouth. There must be a shift of season. There must be a shift of season. May the Lord turn the sound of mourning to the sound of joy. May the Lord take away the sound of pain and the songs of pain and put the song of victory and the song of deliverance. In this meeting today, you are receiving a new song. The Lord is putting it in your mouth because you have entered a new season. I declare according to Psalms 40 and verse 3, the Lord is putting a new song in your mouth in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift up your hand and say in the name of Jesus. I receive a new song now. I receive a new song now. I receive a new song now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive a new song. Somebody celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the King of Glory. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. This shall be your December to remember. I declare no accidents on the road. As you go to visit the loved ones, we declare your family and your families in peace. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus, you are covered on the road, on air, and even the sea. There is no infirmity over your life. The path of the Russians shined brighter and brighter like the breaking of the dawn. That is your portion in the name of Jesus. Your water is blessed. Your kneading bowl is blessed. Your path is blessed. It is indeed blessed and it is dripping with fatness. I announce the angels of your destiny have already been deployed to watch over your life. We uproot every evil plan. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus no agenda of hell shall pre prevail over your life from the first day to the last day of December you are covered with the blood of Yeshua your children are covered your family is covered we cancel every spirit of mourning no death in our camps no misfortunes in our camps no eventualities of hell in our camps only joy only peace I declare miracles I declare open doors I declare divine possibilities I declare the purposes of God for your life in this year may they come to pass in the name of Jesus I announce the song of the groom is your portion I declare you will sing the song of the Lord I declare you will sing the song that takes away barrenness and above all I declare the song of the Lord is in your mouth there is a new song in your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus oh December hear the word of the Lord release every blessing that belongs to us release every door that belongs to us oh December hear the word of the Lord release every opportunity that bears our name release every victory release every assignment release every mantle release every mandate oh December we secure you now in the realms of the spirit whatever has been ordained in December we capture it now in the name of Jesus I bless you as your father and I bless you as a priest Go and conquer. Go 
go and prevail go and win in Jesus name hallelujah 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 that shall be your portion I now want the ushers to distribute bread we seal it with the breaking of bread we seal it with the breaking of bread hallelujah on the seventh we are going to be in Nyayo Stadium we bless the Lord for the partnership with Minister Evelyn praise atmosphere we are going to have the, our first stadium meeting in partnership we want to encourage all of you to come on the seventh and then on the eighth we have our family koinonia service praise the Lord what happens on the eighth we always come with our children we invite our uncles our grandparents our parents so that they can know where we go to church is that okay and then we come and worship the Lord as a family and that is the day we bring our thanksgiving offering for the year as a family tell your neighbor neighbor Sunday is the day to worship and sacrifice as a family those that are single it is the day to sing the song of barren woman and activate your faith you come with your family thanksgiving you write you write there for me and my wife that's how barren people sing and you write there and my children and you bring your thanksgiving there is something you can pay as a deposit hallelujah so tell your neighbor sunday it is our casual sunday you can come with your brazilian wig come with your rubbers come with your jeans come come ready to dance celebrate and enjoy and then after service it will also be a day for mass recruitment for the family groups because we must belong to a family are we together and it's just going to be a day of joy so you come we'll be here we'll just sing pray we call it, it's our shiloh day the bible says elkanah and his two wives and i'm not saying now you marry a second wife every year went to shiloh to to worship the lord and serve the lord and it was in those shiloh encounters that the womb of hannah was opened so we are believing god as we come to worship with our children that there will be miracles and divine possibilities so sunday tell your neighbor sunday you carry an offering called thanksgiving is that okay and 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 make sure that the lord has been faithful to us the lord the fact that you are standing here in december there are wars you have won there are doors that he has opened i tell you that there must have been something the lord has done we are not a stiff naked generation we will look back and see at the victories of god personally standing here is a miracle you know that we didn't even know we'll be on this land now we have a fence we have every every class running we have all these cars parked outside here someone even was telling me pastor najua kuna tenti kopale ju wana uzanga mashamba sana nikwambia si mashamba tunauza hapo ni njili na ubiriwa so people think every sunday we gather here to buy mashamba because they can't believe that all these cars can come because people are coming to worship the lord I told them kuna badilika vile zinapakiwa quivers ndio zinapakiwa life church Amaniaje na nikamwambia Mungu naamini Mungu overflow ziende mpaka huko kwa barabara Wajue pia kuna pali watu wanaweza kunywa naitwa Joel's bar na inafungulia yango 9 on Sunday na tunalewa wakikunywa wine and spirit tunakunywa holy spirit haleluya yes kama leo nasikia nimelewa sana leo ni kan mepiga mzinga ya 750 haleluya oh have you gotten nilikuwa <laughs> muamisi have you gotten the bread and the wine yes <laughs> so so um we we really want to celebrate the ministry of um a cough yeah. 
you know, I, 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 I think we, you, you don't know the graces we have in this town, in this team. Um, and, and she will be among the guest artists. You know, I saw, I saw myself on the post and then I saw her. I said, now this is, this is how it ought to be. As for me and my house. And also, the destiny voices will be there. So, everyone has received, everyone has received, uh, yes? Uh, eh? Oh, Jesus. Pastor William, admin. You will break bread by faith. <laughs> because it was not enough. Right? Staki kuanzisha cases administration hapa. I must cover them as a good leader. But I know they will work out on that. So those who have, now you cannot share. Ati moja poe bread, mwingine poe blood, you know. <laughs> we cannot share. Uh, but, but we are just going to break. The, if you've not received it, it is not prophetic. It's not prophetic. Um, what happened is that I told them when we have our, um, our, 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 our open heaven, it's important for us to break bread together so that at least we seal our prayers by breaking bread. So they've always planned for the second week. And so I know we had agreed that we'll be doing this on the first week. So for those who have the bread, um, just break it. We are sealing everything we have said. It's a very sensitive time. I don't want to look at the people who don't have. Next Sunday, we are breaking bread again. Sendio. When you are making a tape on Billy. Okay, let's break bread. Father, we bless you. The Bible says in that night they broke bread. It is a symbol that everything that was broken in you that will not be broken in us. And I declare as we break this bread, we are receiving wholeness by the law of substitution. Wholeness in our mind, in our soul, and in our spirit. In Jesus' name. And on that night, he lifted the blood of the covenant. Say, this is the blood of my new covenant. Lord, we are reminded of the covenant we have entered in Jesus. And we declare the new is better than the old. This is permanent and perpetual. By this blood, let the speech perpetually speak of our lives. As we partake of it, we declare wholeness in our bodies. Let the life of the blood become our life because life is in the blood. In Jesus' name. And now, Father, the reason for the communion was also to bring unity in the body of Christ. Even for those that have not partaken, they are part of this family. And we declare the unity of this family, Life Church community, Life Church family, that our hearts will be bound with cords that cannot be broken. And dear Lord, we will grow in unity and we will grow in favor and in love. Let this communion and the blood seal our hearts and seal our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. So there are two things that I just want to do. And then I'll allow the announcements. Um, I bless the Lord when you travel, you keep time. The first thing I want to ask if you're here, and you're not born again, I ought to have asked that question. You can have your seats. If you're here, if you're here and you're not born again, possibly what I will do because we are all seated is ask every head to be bowed. Every head to be bowed. If you're here and you're not born again and you're saying, Pastor, I need Jesus in my life. Don't just be a member of a church be a member of the kingdom. I just want you to lift up your hand and I'm going to pray for you. You are here and you are not born again. We will want to pray for you. You just lift up your hand and we are going to sit 
I think where I'm standing, I have the advantage of height. I can see every hand. Is there anyone in our midst? Thank you. There is a hand lifted. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? This is the most... I see another hand lifted there. Let me have an usher, please. Let me have that usher. Help that brother. Please help them. Help them and bring them to the front. Let's celebrate them, church. Let's celebrate them, church. Could there be anyone else that you are in this meeting and you know that you're not born again? Please let them not come alone. Wasikuje peke yao. Tafadhali kuena mtu wa letter. My goodness. Thank you. I see a sister coming. My goodness, this is the day of salvation. This is the day of salvation. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Oh my God. Even if you're there and you're saying, I want to restore my life to Jesus. I want to restore my life to Jesus. Oh my God. My sister, ju just take away that lesson. Just take it away. Come as you are. You look okay. That's who you are. We are not here to condemn you. We are here to receive you as a daughter of destiny. We are your brothers, your fathers, and your sisters. Could there be anyone? Oh, thank you, my sister. Thank you. My God, this is the day of salvation. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I see there is a brother coming, let's celebrate him. No You're a backslider. This is the day to reconnect with your maker. This is the day to come back to your creator. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Don't be afraid of anyone. No turning back. No turning back. Nime amua. Nime Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my sister. This is the day of salvation. Don't be afraid of anyone. Don't be afraid of anyone. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, thank you. This is the day of salvation. Thank you. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. Let's celebrate them as they come. Let us celebrate them as they come. There is harvest in the house. There is harvest in the house. This is the greatest miracle. This is the greatest miracle. What a way to begin December. Even them that are online, type there, I want to receive Jesus. Once again, church, let's put our hands together for this amazing harvest. My spiritual father told me, the Bible says no one comes unto the father unless called by the son. And he told me, when you see men getting born again, the son is in the house. That tells me, by this harvest, every prayer we have made has been answered. Hallelujah. And now those who are here, we didn't call you to condemn you. Even as we had our day the way you had your day. We came as we were. And the Lord has worked on us and is still working on us. It is until when the trumpet will sound, Paul writes and says, who shall deliver us from this wretched body? Until when the trumpet will sound is when we'll enter to the perfection of our salvation. You have entered into a journey and the Holy Spirit will walk with you. 
And I want you to repeat this prayer even those who are watching online. I want you to repeat this prayer from the depths of your heart. I want you to repeat it and say, Lord Jesus. Please, I want you to open your mouth and declare it. Say, Lord Jesus. Today, willingly, I have come to you. Knowing that I'm a sinner in need of a savior. And today, I repent of my sins. And by faith, I receive the forgiveness of my sins. I know by my works, I cannot deliver or save myself. And that's why, by faith, I believe in the complete work of Calvary. From today, I am born again. I am born of God. I am a son of God. I'm a new man. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. When you come for the church, let me be numbered among the saints. Thank you for saving me. Father, I receive this harvest into your hold. Even now, fill them with the Holy Ghost. Guard them. Anything that was with them in their past is cut off. It is separated. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this first day of December is not just a new day in December. It's a new day perpetual in their lives. I disconnect them from Egypt, from their past, from their engagements. Anything that pursued them is now illegal. And I receive them and bless them. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Wow. Welcome. You guys are looking beautiful. You're looking amazing. We are so happy to have you. You will walk on that door, that guy in blue. His name is Engineer James. He's going to just talk to you briefly and then you'll come back and get your seats. Your bags are safe. Everything you've left is safe. No one will take them. I'll just follow that man briefly. Let's celebrate them even as they follow James. Wow. Hallelujah. I'm so excited, church, to be back. And um, 